musician Emel Mafluthi started writing protest music eight years ago. But she and others were forced by former dictator Zain el Abidin Ben Ali's regime to only sing in an underground music scene. We were doing uh, the music we wanted before, but we hadn't places to play this music and we hadn't any future. So in my case, I moved to France and I had some chances to play around the world. But Mathuthi returned when Tunisians took to the streets, igniting the Arab Spring across the region. <laughs> this amateur video posted on YouTube shows Mathuthi singing on the streets for the first time, just days after Ben Ali fled the country in January. Other Tunisian artists also began to sing more freely, like those in this music video, created with the support of the United Nations Development Program. Fadia <laughs> Barizi worked on this song, called Entia Suit, or You Are the Voice. She says the artists were free to write what they wanted in this song, and she believes freedom of expression will stay that way in Tunisia. I think nobody would now would accept even like half a step behind and I think they're not realizing yet the old people I mean the old politicians they're not realizing in the the strength that is coming in this this youth Tunisia's political parties say they are committed to free expression according to a human rights watch poll under Ben Ali some opposition party members ended up in prison human rights watch Eric Goldstein says the interim government has even loosened press codes but he says freedom of expression may be affected by recent attacks by Islamist extremists on people they find offending Islam in the media. You know, it's partly an issue of law and order. They're scared to see people like that behaving like that on the streets. The rise of Anahda has also raised concerns in the once extremely secular nation. Anahda has condemned the attacks by Islamist extremists, and spokeswoman Yusra Ganoushi says the party is committed to free expression. Freedom of the media as well, and of you know artistic creativity, uh, and at the same time, people may express their opinion whether or not they agree with with, with what is shown, as long as it is within within uh, the law and using peaceful means. Mathuthi is still skeptical. I'm not. I, I really don't trust uh, these words. I really don't trust these people. For me, politics should be politic and religion should be religion and personal to each person. And Mathuthi says this will not stop her from singing. She plans to release a new album about Tunisia's battle for freedom on the anniversary of the revolution. Julianne McKellogg, VOA News, Tunis.